Man City, are they really, really gonna win the treble? Leave a like if you believe that will happen. You must, this must have like 1,000 likes because I, I certainly believe this Man City team can do that. One of the best English side, if not the best English team I've ever seen. Ruben Dias, Bernard Silva. Bernard, we're gonna talk about that. But again, leave a like if you wanna see more videos like this. Man City, look at this record that Pep Guardiola has managed to do. This is greatness, people. What I'm going to say is greatness. Pep Guardiola and Man City in their last 25 Champions League games, they have 23 wins and two draws. 81, 81 goals scored and 19 19 only conceded. Ruben Dias, Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland, Ederson, don't sleep, Walker, Grealish, Grealish. Oh, Bernard Silva. This is a historic team. I am, look, I'm mesmerized. I'm mesmerized, people. <laughs> and I set that ridiculous record in the Champions League. And Man City currently... They're unbeaten 23 games in all competitions. I really, I really, I'm gonna repeat. I repeat, they're gonna win the treble in my opinion. Haaland, De Bruyne, the mentality. Ruben Dias is world class. That was a world class performance by the leader at the back. Ruben Dias. Where was Vini? Where was Benzema? Where was Valverde? Where was Rodrigo? Ruben was the leader of that defense. Absolutely crucial, world class. Made in Seychelles too, just like Bernard Silva, Ruben Dias, and where is Ederson? Where did Ederson develop? At Benfica. Huge congratulations to Man City for trusting the Benfica Academy, and every Portuguese man has to back, has to back Man City. And I gotta respect Dani Carvajal's words because he, this is the Real Madrid mentality. Dani Carvajal, after losing to Man City the way they did 4-0 at the Etihad, he said this, City were far better than us, congrats to them, we will come back stronger and work to be in another final soon. Jude Bellingham is needed at Real Madrid, youth is needed at Real Madrid, and Ancelotti, I'm sorry, the cycle is done. The cycle is done. And Celotti's cycle has ended now at Real Madrid. Real Madrid are 14 points, 14 points away of Barca. Barca that won the La Liga, deservedly so. They lose in the semi-final this way. It's a Man City unbelievable team. I agree. But where was Rudiger? Where was Rudiger? Alaba, Rudiger, Milito. I'm not, I'm not a genius. But Rudiger, after that first game, he had to play. And there's a lot of decisions. More midfielders should have played, should have played, in my opinion. Seeing Modric, Valverde, Vini and Benzema, the duo working together. Like, that should have happened, in my opinion. And Celotti, in my opinion, has to be fired. Go to the Brazil national team. I think that's the best job for him. But he has to be fired because Real Madrid currently are 14 points away of rivals Barca that won La Liga. Courtois was the man of the match in this match against Man City. And this is an historic loss. Loss! That can't happen with this and team! And Ancelotti is one of the greatest managers ever, okay? Okay, I really believe that. I really believe that. And it saddens me saying this. The way that he's gonna leave too. It saddens me. The, the, it's sad. It's sad, people. Because Ancelotti... Regardless of what, what what happened this season, he will be remembered for the last season. The development of Vinicius, the development of Fede Valverde, Rodrigo, Benzema won a Ballon d'Or with this Mr. Ancelotti. Unbelievable manager, one of the greatest managers and people in football, Ancelotti. And that's why I really believe he should leave Real Madrid. The time is over. Manager choices right now. I want to see people in the comment section talking about this is such a big topic and like if you want to see more videos of me expressing just my thoughts like I'm doing I, I think I'm connecting with you guys come on the manager choices I believe for Real Nagelsmann is an obvious choice that obviously he refuses Chelsea with those transfers Zidane to come back has to be mentioned and bold it's bold I would like to see more at Leverkusen but Xabi Alonso very bold but these are the top three in my opinion, but could Real Madrid sign a manager that no, none of these three? They could, they could, but Florentino Perez, <laughs> magic happens with that man. Bernard Silva 
is one of the greatest players I've ever seen in the Premier League and definitely a Man City. Man City legend, Bernard Silva. Incrível o que estás a fazer por nós. Okay, two goals against Real Madrid. Not anyone could do that. Bernard Silva did it. He did it. And Bernard's last nine goals in the Champions League, where were they? They were in the knockout stages. The clutch gene of him. He never stopped against Real Madrid. And that's what you need to do. The whole team deserves it. But Bernard with those two goals, he inspired. And Gundogan, Gundogan is Guardiola's first signing in the Premier League, two goals against Leeds. Unbelievable performance in the last match too, with two goals and one assist. That, that pass to Haaland. Courtois, again, masterclass to defend that. But Gundogan is one of the greatest midfielders to be in the Premier League. And Guardiola's masterclass is shown with decisions like putting John Stones in midfield now, the development and the necessity, the necessity. Rodri needed backup in that midfield and Guardiola masterclass in full display. The unreal switch they had mid-season. That no, no team can easily do that. And they do that because they have Pep Guardiola Man City. That's the reason why he's going to be one of the greatest. Again, people, I am so like, this is me just reacting shockingly. This is like 10 minutes after the game. And we're editing now and all this. So please leave a like. Look at that. We're going bold with this. Because Man City is going bold. That went that with Haaland last night. It was with Bernard Silva and Ruben Dias. So leave that like button. Guardiola's era and Man City will always, always be remembered. Man City is now one of the greatest, greatest teams I've seen. Definitely in the last decade, okay? And they're gonna win a treble, in my opinion. And in the last, last six seasons, if they win the Premier League this season, they've won five Premier Leagues in six years. If they win the Prem this season. That's unreal. Unreal. History done. History done. And two Champions League finals in the way too. Two Champions League finals in the way too. And I'm gonna repeat. Two Champions League finals with Ruben Dias. There. Crucial player. Crucial player. And a bit of bias there. But a bit of sauce. Because Ruben Dias deserves that. Man City are a terrific and scary team to, to play against. Because they mix ambition, experience and youth. All these factors connect, and Man City's team with Foden coming off the bench, Mahrez coming off the bench, Alvarez that scored coming off the bench, that won a World Cup! <laughs> like, Alvarez won the World Cup in December, man, and now he's gonna win the treble. Like, the treble? One of the greatest? One of the greatest already? <laughs> what a career that is starting Julian Alvarez. Le Araña? To go to Man City, that was great. That was, I, I, I'm just shocked. I am just shocked. Comment down below. Who's the player that shocks you the most tonight with this match? And I want to say, I have to mention in this video, Jack Grealish. Mr. Grealish. Unbelievable what you've done this season. You've improved on, it's, it's, it's mad. It's mad what Jack Grealish has done this season. Like, he is the Englishman with the most chances created ever ever in the champions league 35 key passes in this campaign jack Grealish, no flop now people should say aston villa was robbed 100 million and you ain't stopping against real madrid and he just enjoys being there jack enjoys being a part of history and that's why you can't hate him i i, I love him and again if you want to see more videos just like this don't forget to smash smash that like button and subscribe Subscribe to FC Wonder. I'm sweating, but that, mad. That was so worth it. Thank you, people, for watching.